Alors, on fait un petit coin de paix. Ah, ma brave Marie. Oh, ça, ça sent bien Mirabel de l'oncle Henri. Messieurs, inspection voilà, pour 5 dépêche. minutes. Allez, maniez ça va. On va voir le petit pétoir. Oh, crée Dieu, il est tout rouillé. Je vais me payer la corvée encore. So yes, that little sketch there could have been a very real situation. Welcome to another little workshop episode here in the winter. So, ever since I made that Ruby, 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 Ruby episode, I seem to become the uh, can you fix my Ruby guy. All sorts of questions that come through. And uh, yeah, always happy to help carry on. And this is both from the Francophone and the Anglophone side, of course. Uh, and there's one problem that keeps on recurring and so much that I thought, right, let's do a little video to address it. And that is, my Ruby won't disassemble. So normally, disassembly is very, very easy. Just pull the slide back until it locks, rotate the barrel clockwise, pull it out, rotate it back anti-clockwise, and then slide just comes off and that's it uh, if you've been very naughty and forgotten to take the magazine out that will block the slide going forward but that's an easy solution don't just take the mag out but we also have rubies where the mag is not in this is the old quasimodo with its peculiar barrel and it still won't come out so what has happened, or what is happening here, is that the sear notch in the hammer has been cut in the wrong place and the hammer is sitting proud of the frame. So unlike this one, which is nice and flush there at the back. And it is bumping up against the rear surface in the slide here. Now this surface is curved, so I think this is done on purpose because as in the case of this one it is blocked I can't put it forward but if I sort of slide back and give it a bit of oomph then that will ride over the tip of the hammer here so this may or may not work so you see here it's it's proud of the slide so that's what's interfering with the slide going forward uh, so this one I've been lucky with but I have this one, which I do want to disassemble because uh, at some point in history, some person's idea of removing rust was to scrape it away with a screwdriver. And uh, I want to get inside this and give it a proper clean. But uh, I wanted to do that. So I went through the cycle again. Let's see, the barrel also needs some cleaning. And same problem here. I can do the uh, trick of a uh, giving it a bit of, bit of oomph, but to note that's not going. So there's no way I can disassemble this now unless I take it apart completely. So uh, there's only one way to do this. These pistols are very, very simple. So uh, let's go to phase two. So first of all, let's remove the grips. Yeesh, screwdriver strikes again. Do not do this. All right, so the bit we're interested in is uh, here in the back strap. There is a spring, that's the main spring. One end is pushing against the magazine catch and the other end is pushing against the hammer. So what we want to do is remove the spring so that the hammer can fall and then you can remove the slide. So we've got three pins. We have hammer axis pin, sear axis pin and magazine catch axis pin. Now they'll all be in slightly different places depending on the ruby because they're all different, remember? So what we want to do is remove this axis pin and then everything can come out of the bottom. And the spring is pretty strong. So I have made myself a little clamping rig since uh, this is two rubies I have with this problem now. So it was uh, worth investing a bit of time in that. So let's just line it up. Like so, and then just wind the screw in until I relieve the tension and then I can knock out the pin. It's 
two millimeters, at least on all the ones that uh, I have had the pleasure of working on. Relieve the tension slowly. And there we go, that's the magazine catch. And then all the gubbins comes out. Now the hammer can drop freely because it's no longer under tension. And can now disassemble it because the hammer has now fallen and is clear. So if we put, whoops, there it goes, safety lever as well, everything's coming off. So if we put the system under tension again, we'll be able to see, I uh, need another punch. I should do. You can see how far the hammer sticks up in its uh, cocked position. And uh, I'm on it. And it seems that the angle there is a little too sharp and it's not enough for the slide to ride over it when you disassemble it. So uh, basically there's two ways to fix that. You can just bob the top of the hammer there, make it rounded so that uh, at least it can ride forward maybe with a bit of oomph like in the uh, in the second ruby. Uh, or you could try and find another hammer that has the uh, notch cut in the right place so that it's uh, flush with the top of the slide. And that's pretty much all you can do. Now reassembly is always a bit fiddly. You need to put the uh, whole spring assembly back in, push in the magazine catch as far as you can with your fingers and then uh, I've done find a convenient press because otherwise that will happen fiddly little things of course you were never intended to disassemble it or certainly in the field strip never intended to go this far Clamped quickly. All right, we're good. Push that in and then use your punch to realign everything. And there we go. So hopefully that was of some use to my fellow Ruby lovers out there. Uh, this is also a solution if, for some reason, when you've been reassembling your Ruby, you have put in the recoil spring and guide rod assembly in backwards. Uh, and then for some reason over enthusiastically pull the trigger when the slide is in position uh, because then it means that you cannot move the slide back because the uh, the guide rod is in backwards and you can't slide it forward because the hammer is raised. So there your only option is to take out the pin and disassemble it as I showed you. Shame on you. The fact that the problem exists poses an interesting question about quality control back in World War I. Um, this problem will have been present on the gun when it was made. It's not something that's happened through, uh, through time, through wear. Uh, the notch on the hammer is simply in the wrong place. Or, alternatively, the size of the sear is wrong. Uh, whatever, it was present when the pistol was inspected. Um, 
Were they simply concerned about function? Would they simply run a couple of mags through the pistol? If it worked, send it out. Don't even bother inquiring whether it disassembles fully. Um, maybe they were somberly reflecting that the operator was unlikely to live long enough to ever need to disassemble it. Who knows? But um, yeah, the question is there for us to contemplate. So uh, hopefully that was of, of some use to you. Thank you, of course, for watching. And uh, thank you, of course, for your support, whatever platform you follow us on. And we'll see you very soon. Bye.